That might be the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. My name is Maddie, this is Fig, and my life is a mess. Meh. Okay, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Maddie. This channel is just me documenting my eating disorder recovery and just getting through life doing very weird things. So, in today's video, I'm very excited, but also very nervous, because if you have been following my channel for a while, you will know that one of my favorite foods is a croissant. The beautiful, flaky French pastry. I, I love croissants, and I've been challenging them throughout my recovery to lead up to this moment. So the first time I did it was just one croissant. Here we have it made it through, cried a little bit. <sighs> Second time, I started taste testing different croissants around where I live. Here's number one. Also cried a little bit, <laughs> made it through. But to step it up once again, we are gonna be challenging specialty croissants. <laughs> so this means um, you know, flavored croissants, filled croissants, stuffed croissants, weird shaped croissants. And I'm very excited. So I actually had the first one um, a few days ago. It had brie in it, which is cheese. And yeah, if you had told me back in November when I started my recovery that I would be eating not only a croissant, but a croissant full of cheese, I wouldn't believe you. But here we are, and I'm happy about it, I think. I'm very excited because one of the croissants that I'm test, test, taste testing, testing, um, actually took me almost two weeks to try to get. You serious? And I'm picking it up today, and I'm very excited. Yeah, but I'm gonna save it till the end because it is quite a surprise. Before that, I have a few others that I'd like to try, at least one. Just gonna get to it. I don't need to stall. See you with the croissant. Bye. Guess who just had another breakdown? This girl. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really looking like a foot today, Maddie. That's fine. So this mini breakdown was thanks to COVID. Yeah, long story short, I had a mini vacation trip planned to Vancouver and it has now been canceled and I'm very sad, but that's okay. I'm healthy and that's all that matters, but I'm still sad. So anyway, because I have decided to further push myself, I Uber Eats, Uber Eated, Uber Ordered. I don't know what it's called. I really, I really need a shower. Um, a croissant, but this one has cheese in it. <laughs> yep, cheese, brie specifically. Yeah, so I wanted to continue to do these challenges of croissants and testing them. Yeah, so it's on its way. I'm very nervous, I'm very scared. Kind of looking forward to it. Cheese is scary, croissants are still scary. I'm in a sad mood, but it's a beautiful day outside, so we're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> yes, croissants on its way. Hoping it's good. Maybe it'll make me feel better. Maybe it'll make me feel worse. But we're not gonna think about that. All right. Repainted my nails though. Not sure I like the red. Comment below if you like red nails. God. Okay, I'll see you when I'm a croissant. Bye. I'm doing that thing again where you anxiously wait by the window for your Uber to arrive. Feeling like a stalker, but I want my croissant. Run. How freaking cute is that? Like, are you freaking kidding me? Look at that! I love her so much. I love her so much. I can't believe this rabbit puts up with me. It's her feet are dirty. She's been running around outside. Aww. I love her. Okay. Love everything right now. And Fig wants to come out. She, every time I come to my room now, she thinks she's getting treats. Okay. We've got our croissant 
from La Gourmand. Oh, oh, I am nervous. I have warmed it up. There it is. Really squished. Mmm, this is very nerve wracking. One eternity later. Why is this so scary? That's really good. This is also extra challenging. Um, something I haven't really spoken about is the fact that I was vegan for a very long time and I know that was partly eating disordered and only recently have I started reintroducing meat and this is very challenging. But my, I don't know. I didn't finish explaining my thought about my choice to start eating meat, so this is it. I've been vegetarian from the age of 12, but when I developed my eating disorder, I chose to go vegan as a way to further restrict myself. I can make a whole other video addressing this, but long story short, as I pursue my recovery, I think it's important to allow myself all foods, and then once I'm healthy, reevaluate my choices on what to cut out and why. I would love to go fully vegan, but don't think I'm currently at a stage where this is a healthy decision. Back to the croissant. I don't know what to get for my next one. I want to try a chocolate one, but that's really challenging. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm content with this croissant. I was kind of worried because I thought it would be really, really big, but it's it's a good size. Like, it's just enough. Wow. I think this might be my favorite part of a croissant, like that top bit. And it's like slightly burnt. There's like something comforting to me about Brie. I don't know why, but there's just kind of like this almost like nostalgic feeling when I eat Brie cheese. <laughs> Last bit. <laughs> Done. All right. I ate that pretty quickly. I think that's like record time for eating a croissant. So, La Gourmand Brie Croissant, 9 out of 10. I think it would have been a 10 out of 10 had it not been squished. Although, Hadrian, if you watch my last video, I think Hadrian's Patisserie sells the best croissants, but that was a pretty decent croissant. I am satisfied. I'm not crying, so that's a bonus. So, I will see you when I have my next specialty croissant. Bye. Okay, this might be the most beautiful croissant I've ever seen and I'm not really sure what to do with it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So this is a black sesame croissant. I don't even know what to do. Um, I did have a breakdown earlier. It's been a hard day, not gonna lie. But that's a whole other story. So one of the things that I'm worried about is this to me is like a dessert not a meal lunch yeah i'm kind of off today but we're still gonna eat this so i redid my nails from this morning i filmed the intro to this video this morning pre breakdown okay oh my god 10 out of 10 smell okay i'm just gonna start with this crunchy bit Oh my god, this tastes just like those um, those sesame crackers. I'll put in a photo, but if you know what those are. Anyway, I was in the mood to film this video earlier, but now I'm not. But I also don't want this to sit, so I'm gonna be honest on this channel, so I'm just gonna eat it now anyway, whether I'm in the mood or not to film a video. So it might not be that exciting, but I'm very nervous about this and just getting through it but that's the thing is like i shouldn't have to be getting through eating i should just enjoy it okay so i guess it's full holy crap well that's a lot all right <laughs> i don't want to eat this now it's fine it's just a croissant the hair in it. 
<laughs> Try the filling part. Oh my god, it's like whipped cream. Oh boy. I have to do it. Okay. See, this is also where it's good to have be filming because it kind of keeps me accountable. I'm just gonna take a bite. Eventually. That might be the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. That's what she said. I am at a loss for words. That is spectacular. And terrifying. I'm gonna eat it. Ow. That's really good. Black sesame croissant. This is gonna take me forever to eat. I think what I'm gonna do is put on something on my laptop and watch that while I eat and I'll time lapse and then talk about it after. Okay, bye. Okay, I finished half of it. I'm debating if I should finish the other half or not. I mean, it's really, really, really good. Oh boy. I think it's just like whipped cream is scary to me. I don't know what to do. I need to finish it, don't I? I, don't, I can't really describe the taste. It doesn't taste like sesame. It tastes like whipped cream. I wish I could be more excited about this. I'm sorry. See, my head is telling me that what I should do is scrape off the whipped cream and just eat the croissant. And what does Maddie want to do? Maddie wants to eat the whipped cream. I wonder if this is natural. That's definitely food coloring on the croissant at least. Just wait until tomorrow's croissant. Last bit. <laughs> Done. Well then, that was a very good croissant. Probably one of the best I've had. I wish I was in a better mood for it. Yes, I'm glad I did it. My eating disorder is not, my head is not screaming at me. It's gotta keep going. I'm gonna listen to music really loud and play with a fig, maybe just lie on the floor and contemplate my life decisions. See you tomorrow with the next croissant. That's a very special one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this might just be the most important moment of my life and I wanna share it with you all. If you've been following my story for a while, you'll know that this means a lot to me, so I'm just gonna say it.